about the only fun Hamlet has the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they're, his, they're Shakespeare's instructions to actors. This is how Shakespeare wanted it done. So listen up, thespians. Now, spake the speech as I pronounced it to you, trippingly on the tongue. Huh? But if you mouth it, as many of our players do, I'd as leave the town crier spoke my lines. Nor do not saw the air too much with your hand, thus, huh? <laughs> but use all gently, for in the very tempest and torrent, and I might say whirlwind of your passion, you must acquire and beget a temperance that will give it all smoothness. Huh? Oh, it offends me to the soul to hear some robustious, period painted fellow tear a passion to tatters, to very rags, the split ears of the groundlings. Oh, uh, well, the groundlings, who for the most part, are capable of nothing but inexplicable dumb shows and noise. I would have such a one whipped, such a fellow whipped for or doing termagant. And out here is here, so please, avoid that altogether. But be not too tame, neither, huh? No. But let your own discretion be your tutor. Suit the action to the word, and the word to the action. With this special observance that you o'erstep not the modesty of nature. For anything so or done is from the purpose of playing, the end of which from the first till now was and is to <coughs> hold as twere the mirror up to nature, to, uh, to show virtue her own feature, scorn her own image, and the very age and body of the time, his form and purpose and pressure. Now, all this overdone, or come, uh, come tardy off, you know, <laughs> though it make the unskillful laugh, cannot but make the judicious grieve. The censure of which one, you must in your allowance, or uh, in your allowance must or weigh a whole theater of the other crowd. Oh, there be players I have seen play, and have heard praised, and that highly, not to speak it profanely, that neither having the accent of Christians, nor the gait of Christian, pagan, or man, have so strutted and bellowed, that I have thought some of nature's journeymen must have made them, and made them badly. They imitated humanity so abominably. So, Reform it all together, and let those that play the clown speak no more than is set down for them, huh? Yeah. For there be, for there be of them that will themselves laugh, to sit on some quantity of barren spectators to laugh too, huh? Though in the meantime, though in the meantime, like some necessary question of the play be then to be considered. Now, that's villainous, and shows a most pitiful ambition in the fool that uses it. So, avoid it all together. Now, go make ready, actors prepare, because you're about to start the first scene from the play, Comedy of Errors. Now, Comedy of Errors is a play about two sets of twins. Both sets of twins were separated at birth. One set of twins is from here. The boy is from here, even though they don't know each other. The other set of twins are guys from away who come into town. So, they don't know each other either. So they're all wandering around town causing all kinds of confusion. 